but God had a plan and I believe it's very important. So um, I mentioned something to the women. So I actually did a message for the women this past Wednesday. Amen. Some of them still mad at me, but they love me. They love me. They hug me in anger, but they love me. Amen. Don't karate chop me. Just hug. But they were upset, some of them, but it's just all a part of it. Amen. So I did a message for them on Wednesday, and I mentioned this. I mentioned that when we moved here, excuse me, from the old building, um, something had happened that we didn't know about until maybe a couple of years after we had been here. I guess maybe the third year, we're going on five years, so maybe the third year we were here, a guy said, hey, Pastor, I don't know if you've seen this. So he sent me a Facebook group, and the Facebook group were, was a group of witches. And these witches had placed their headquarters in North Richton Hills right, right when we came here as a church. A thousand of them. They started meeting in North Richton Hills when we came here because we came here. Ain't that something? That's a real group of witches. And they were here to shut us down and stop, stop us. And, you know, we saw a little of it when the uh, COVID first started and a lady came out. And you remember she came out and tried to shut us down and we, we stayed in here. Then we were outside and she came and started manifesting. And, you know, I had to stand down because, you know, I was ready to be Martin Luther King or somebody. Take me to jail. But, uh, <laughs> and I knew all the brothers was ready, too. Landon had got out the car. He was like, uh-oh, if daddy going, I'm going. Let's go. But, you know, we ended up that week. Greg Abbott said, leave them alone. So we came in here the next week, and we've been in here ever since. <laughs> Amen. No social distancing, just no COVID, period. Look at all these folks. Oh, Lord. Look at all them folks. Well, amen. And we've been in here, so... But just to show you the attention that the enemy has placed on the Adamant Believers Council, the, just to try to stop it, and there's only one reason, and that's because the word is going forth. Amen. amen. The devil hates the word because the word sparks obedience. So... I'm going to talk about fighting witchcraft today to empower you guys just a little bit. It's not going to take me long, but amen. How many of you need to fight some witchcraft? Then it's October. They're on 100. And somebody told me, said, man, the witches are arrogant, more arrogant than he's ever seen them because they feel like they got Trump out of office and started all this stuff or whatever. But we know, hey, man, that's in Revelations. All you're doing is following the script. But, hey, man, the witches are out of control now. Female witches, male, whatever that is, warlocks, and all of it is just out of control. But I want you to know that you have power over witchcraft. Hey, Amen. So you got to fight adamantbeliever.com forward slash fighting witchcraft.pdf. This ain't going to take me long at all, but we're going to come from this passage of scripture, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. The Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but what? Mighty, Mighty through who? God. Mighty through God to the what? Pulling down of strongholds now i'm not good i can't sufficiently explain strongholds like i want to today because it's going to take destination entropy for me to re make you really understand the stronghold but i'm going to try to just give you a little bit of what god spoke to me today about it so the devil speaks through witches so they will connect with a stronghold in your mind so a witch doing the spells and the ee, all the stuff they're doing, the eye of lizard and the toe of a frog, whatever they're putting in the pot, whatever they're doing, 
Uh, that whole incantation has absolutely no significance. It does nothing. That toe in that pot burns up and ain't nothing but a bone, toe bone. Did nothing. The, 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 the leg of a salamander, that does nothing. Nothing. They cut themselves. Pour their own blood. It does nothing. It's all smoke and mirrors. They're just making it. They, they want you to visually think that they're doing something. When in actuality, the devil is talking to them about a stronghold in you. Devil can't read your mind. He doesn't have to. He knows your stronghold because you act it out. Now, stronghold in the Bible is a place where the enemy can hide in your mind. This is a place where the devil hides and that's, it's, he doesn't just hide, but he's protected by you hiding him. So this is the area where you struggle that you don't tell anyone about. Even in Alcoholics Anonymous, they tell you you're only as sick as your secret. But if you don't tell anybody about what you're really struggling with, you never let it out, you never talk about it, you never deal with it, then that's a place the devil knows he can hide. And it's protected by you and your secrecy. They tell me all the time, uh, Elder, that I'm too transparent. Well, I'm transparent for a reason. Amen. And Because I don't want to hide nothing. So the devil can use that against me. So, this is a place in your mind. So what he did, you know, the actual stronghold, like the stronghold that David hid in in the Bible uh, from uh, his son Absalom, it was a cave with a rock. And he would get in the cave, put the rock behind him. The rock looks like the cave, so it would camouflage the cave. You would never know he was in there. That's, that's what a physical stronghold looks like. Well, spiritually, it's the same way. The devil climbs right into your mind. Puts the rock behind him and hides. You look normal like you're good and he's hiding. The problem with that is the witch knows it. The witch knows it because demons communicate. They have a whole network. That's why they created the internet. To get all your business, to know what you're feeling, to know your rise and your fall, to know all that you're thinking, everything. People just put it online, make it very easy for the devil. Y'all think the devil don't have a computer? <laughs> He's somewhere clacking keys right now with them fingernails. <laughs> he got a super computer. Yeah, so this is the place where the devil hides and is protected by you hiding him. Look at somebody and say, don't hide the devil. Man, you better not hide the devil because he's telling the witch about it. And the witch knows. So you must rebuke the enemy by confessing his existence. So you confess that he's there. You tell God, I know I'm crazy. I know I treat people wrong. I know I gossip too much. I know I talk too many people's business. I know that I got a problem with pornography. I know that I got a problem. You have to confess these things to God. But you come before God. Uh, you all saint to, oh, oh, and God know that there's a stronghold there. Because if God knows, the devil knows too. Just by your previous action. God can read your mind. And your thoughts. But the devil watches your actions. He learns. That's the walking about. Like a roaring lion doing what? He's learning. 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 And so the witch calls out that stronghold. And taps into it. So you got to uh, rebuke the enemy by confessing his existence. Then you must pray in the Holy Ghost against the struggle that the enemy brings. So now you're praying with the power of the Holy Ghost because you can't do it. If you could do it, there wouldn't have been a stronghold. So you need the power of the Holy Ghost against that struggle. Amen. That's why we come here. We get stronger just by being around people. People that are stronger, people that are fighting. That's why the devil don't want the church assembling. 
He don't want people coming together. That's the reason. It has nothing to do with COVID masks. Y'all, please understand. Who was the first folks they targeted with this stuff? The church. They kept the supermarkets open. They kept the fitness places open. They kept the liquor store open. The adult bookstore never closed. But they came after the church. Amen. And what did the witches do? They tapped into the stronghold of the church. What was the stronghold of the church? Health. They could lay their hands. They could speak in tongues. They could cast out. They could do all of that. But they couldn't eat right. <laughs> couldn't eat right. Couldn't take care of yourself. Couldn't stop eating the inflammatory drug called sugar. Yeah. Witchcraft. What witchcraft? Yoruba. They did it all 2020. They did it in the streets. They did all the rituals. They were doing what well, I was telling y'all the whole time. Antifa and BLM are doing witchcraft. Why are they doing witchcraft? Because they're bringing a spell upon America. What spell? The witches are tapping into the stronghold of the believers, the Christians, to expose their weakness. Show that they don't have no faith. They talk faith, they act faith, but boy, the devil blew on them, blew some COVID on them, called their bluff, went right in and found that stronghold, that fork, that knife. I keep preaching. Amen. Second Corinthians 10 and 5, casting down what? Imaginations. Every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing it to captivity. How many thoughts? How many thoughts? Every thought to the obedience of Christ. See, the devil, it's the end times. Y'all think the devil don't know that? So he ain't playing these games. So he's not scared of your hikamasha. He ain't scared of that. <laughs> he ain't scared of your bucking and shouting, kicking like a donkey. The organ well, he ain't scared. All that loud and uh, and God, uh, uh, he's sitting back, he's sitting back cheering the preacher on. Say it, Reverend. And God, say it, because you ain't saying nothing. Keep saying nothing. Uh, 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 and uh, 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 and I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cheer that on. Cheer that on because everybody in the audience got diabetes from eating bad. And so they're used to taking pharmaceuticals. So all they got to do is bring the vaccine and everybody's got to take it. They're used to taking it. If the mark of the beast is a shot, guess what? The church is in trouble. I, I feel the anointing of God in here. Because, see, everybody said, I said, I said, let me finish. Yeah. Every thought, which is use imaginations to torment you. So, it ain't about what you're doing in here in the church. It ain't about you throwing yourself in the drums when the organs start. You don't care. He's going to use the imagination. What you really dealing with. What you won't deal with in here. You see? And witches have used gossips. Witches use gossips. People that talk your business to stop you from telling your testimony. And you don't overcome without the words of your testimony. <laughs> yeah. So you're tormented because you're sitting in here want to give God a praise but you can't lift your hands because of torment. Because you know what happens when you leave here. If you imagine them being scary or you are fearful of demonic images and beings then they will use your own imagination against you. Uh, 
That's how it is. It's smoke and mirrors. Unless they got something. What did Mike Tyson say? It's all. Everything is good until somebody get hit in the mouth. Yeah, everybody got to play until they get punched in the mouth. That's it. Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> yeah, everybody, oh, everybody doing all the church stuff that look churchy until the devil come for that thing, that stronghold. And he'll make you imagine it to torment you. That's all they can do. Witchcraft cannot hurt you. Spells and incantations only work. If they seize your imagination. Yeah. Yeah. Look in the Bible. How many of God's men he was using? How many of them came under the spell of witchcraft in the New Testament? Full of the Holy Ghost? You know how scared a witch is of you if you feel with the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Witchcraft can't hurt you. We must cast down all fearful thoughts and believe that God's power is greater than the enemy. So here's what it does with your imagination. When he starts working on your imagination, you begin to imagine the issue and the more time you spend pondering the issue, the less power God has. In your mind, you've elevated the struggle to a higher place because witches won't let you stop thinking about it. So they keep putting it in your head, pushing it in your head, and you begin to elevate it above the power of God. There's no deliverance because you don't believe you can be delivered. That's why folks start saying God sent the shot. Why? Because they don't believe God can heal. You mean you've been in church for 40 years and you don't believe God can heal you, deliver you, and say, you've been coming in here, falling out, eyes rolling to, you know when your eyes roll to the back of the head, that ain't the Holy Ghost, no way. That's a scary image. God don't make you scary. All this time, what have we been in there doing? You don't believe God can heal you and protect you from the flu? No, that that stronghold will. I, I have been eating bad. I don't sleep good. I thought, but you know why you're doing all those things? Because there's an issue in you. Those are the outward manifestations of something going on in your mind. You're getting dopamine releases from food to feel better about the bad decisions you've made. Amen. That's, that's all right. So he'll use your imagination. Witchcraft cannot hurt you. We must cast down all fearful thoughts and believe that God's power is what? You know, the only real way you can believe it is if you operate in it. That's the problem. You can talk about it for years. You can talk about it for years, but see what happened when they bring the mandates? The talk stops. Folk in line. But we must cast down all fearful thoughts and belief. But here's the thing. What happened to the discernment? But you know there's no discernment of the Holy Ghost if your issue talks louder than God. That's what a strong, the stronghold right next to your brain. And the stronghold, the witches are causing the stronghold to speak louder and testify of itself. Second Corinthians 10 and 6 and having a readiness to revenge all what? 
No, no, no. Have a readiness to do it, but wait. Wait. Like they say, wait for it. Wait for it. When your what? When your obedience is fulfilled. So everybody can't revenge disobedience. You got to first make sure your obedience is what? Fulfilled. So the Bible, listen to this. I didn't know this until the Lord spoke it this morning. Praise God for him. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to be with him. The Bible calls rebellion witchcraft, right? Says it as the sin of witchcraft. This is key in understanding how and when witchcraft works. When we are obedient to God, witchcraft fails. <laughs> That's how easy it is, Elder. When we're obedient to God, witchcraft fails. When Jezebel chased Elijah out, ran him out into the no man's land, whatever, God came, fed him, restored him, and then sent him on a mission. He didn't send him to go get Jezebel. He sent him on a mission. And as long as Elijah obeyed God on that mission, he didn't have to worry about Jezebel. Because Jezebel can't stop God. Can't stop God's mission. So whatever you're going to do, are y'all getting this? Whatever you're going to do, if God sent you, the devil can't stop you. Witchcraft shuts off when God's power is activated. When we all beat it to God, witchcraft fails. Oh, y'all ain't never had y'all's name called by high-ranking witches like I have. They call my name. They put me in magazines. They send my number around. They send me text messages. They pass my number around. Oh, they get a hold of these effeminate dudes and start working through them to threaten my life. Really? But see, there's a problem. That's a problem. The problem is that as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you can't stop it. You can't stop God. You can't stop God. Look at somebody say the devil can't stop God. Look at somebody say witchcraft can't stop God. You can't kill me until God is through with me. So you better get somewhere. You say what you want to. You can do what you want to. <laughs> yeah. Who gets into witchcraft? Somebody rebelling, right? That little girl who don't nobody like or somebody talked about her or whatever. She been molested or hurt or whatever. She starts conjuring and getting into the noise. That's who, those are all the people that work for the witches. Rebellious people. That boy who got hurt or that girl who got hurt, even in church, the church witches are the ones that's been church hurt. Yeah, it's all rebellion. So when we are obedient to God, witchcraft does what? It fails. But when we obey the enemy, witchcraft can operate. The Bible tells us to be ready to revenge all disobedience when? when our obedience is fulfilled. So since the opposite of obedience is rebellion, we must make sure we are not giving witchcraft permission to operate through rebellion against God's plan for us. See, you told the way it's going to take long. Summary! Ooh, that's a spooky looking summer. <laughs> Obedience to God stops witchcraft. That should have been the whole summary. Look at somebody and say, Obedience to God stops witchcraft. Look the other way and say, Obedience to God stops witchcraft. Look behind you, it might be a witch back there. And say, Obedience to God. Stop witchcraft. So look at all three of them and say, so I'm going to obey God. I'm going to obey God. (laughs) 
They can assemble all they want. Facebook group after Facebook group. All of them. Oh, you can assemble all you want. I'm going to be somewhere obeying God. Because obedience to God does what? So, do what God says and live according to his plan and witchcraft cannot harm you. Amen. They can, they can throw a dead fish at your head. Can't hurt you. They have all the hexes and vexes and charms and I, I, I. None of that has power unless it's connecting to something. So as long as you keep the connection dead, you have nothing to worry about. Amen. Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be what? Transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is that what? Good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So if you're doing God's plan, witchcraft can't harm you. Well, how do we get God's plan? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I hate when people say, well, what's my purpose? How do I know? I've been praying about my purpose. Have you been praying Romans 12 and 2? Because if you pray Romans 12 and 2 and then you get up and do it, so you can't just pray it. You get up and do it. Do what? Be not conformed to this world. That means the things of the world aren't driving you. Driving you to get an experiment. I mean, how am I going to feed my family? How am I going to work? How am I Are you saved? Do you trust God? Luxuries? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transformed by the what? renewing of your mind. BET don't renew your mind. Let you conform to this work. Why you want to just watch dysfunction all day? You want your situation functional, but you want to watch dysfunction all day. Baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, 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 lesbian drama. Oh, I used to like men, but now I like a woman. Oh, I used to like men, but I just, just all day. That's what you want to watch. Then you'll conform to this world. As soon as they threaten your job, you're going to do whatever the world said do. I don't care about you clapping. You got to kill me to give me that, man. Because I know what my Bible says and I know who God is. I ain't got to think about it. I don't have to ponder it. I know exactly what's happening. The book of Revelations tells me what's happening. I don't follow your playbook world. I don't follow your playbook Fauci. I follow the word. And I know what the word says. Call yourself a preacher. You need to put the mic down if you don't know what Revelation say. And whoever let you preach ought to sit down too. This ain't no game. This is it. This is it. Gerard, this is it. This, this is it. That's what we've been talking about for years, Elder. It's here. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is that. This is how you know your purpose. By not being conformed to this world and allowing the power of God to transform and renew your mind so you can prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Everyone stand to your feet. Sorry to make y'all stay up here that long. Y'all good. Well, praise the Lord. It's the word anyhow. And that makes it the truth anyhow. 
So we breaking witchcraft off everybody. So whoever think they got it, come up here. We're breaking it off everybody. If you think it's been operating on you, if you think it's been operating around you, you know it's been operating on your job. So it's time to break it. We don't need no music. I don't want the musicians in on this. The devil come for the musicians first because they're first in line, y'all. The Levites, y'all, are the priests, biblically. They're breaking witchcraft, man. It's not that complicated. You just have to act right. That's it. And clean your mind up. Get that thing that the devil keeps grabbing hold to. Every time you make progress, that thing, that feeling, it's witchcraft. Because he knows that stronghold is in there. So we're going to pull down the stronghold. Cast down imaginations. Every high thing that exalts itself. Everything that is competing with the knowledge of God. Everyone bow your heads. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for bringing us here and giving us this word. And thank you, Lord, for your word always being timely. Your word always being truth. We thank you, God, for in this time when witches and warlocks and devils and demons and ghouls and goblins and all this stuff, just they're ramping up for October 31st because they consider that their day. We know that every day is your day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to be glad in it today. We're going to be glad in it on the 20th, the 24th, 28th. We're going to be glad in it on the 31st because it's your day. So right now, Father God, we just claim your power, the power of the Holy Ghost to pull down strongholds. Whatever stronghold it is, however long it's been there. Father God, however long the struggle's been there, however long the whispers have been there. Father God, however long the reputation has been there. Whatever it is, Father God, we pull it down right now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father God, your power trumps the devil's power. The devil has no power because you have all power. So we We believe in your power right now. Father, we cast it down right now. Every thought, everything that's been said, everything that's been done in lieu of that witchcraft, God. We speak against it right now. We will live free. And who the Son has set free is free indeed. We speak freedom over ourselves right now. We speak freedom over our families. We speak freedom, Father God, over our friends, our co-workers. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Break the spell of strong delusion. Father God, lead us in this hour. Speak against it right now. All witchcraft must cease. Any witchcraft that's been operated in my life and anyone's life, it must cease in the name of Jesus. And even if it keeps going, We know that it can do nothing as long as we're walking in your way, God. As long as our minds are transformed. As long as we are transformed, Father God, by the renewing of our mind and walk in your purpose, God. So, Father, we repent right now for even even thinking witchcraft to even be powerful like you are. For even thinking that a person has that kind of power over the Holy Ghost. For even thinking, Father God, for even contemplating, taking a shot when we can get full healing from you. Father God, forgive us for that. Forgive the others that are weak. Forgive those that have given in. Father God, we will not submit to the New World Order plan. But God, will submit to you. Believe in you and your power. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look at somebody and say, all witchcraft is gone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of, come on, hug them and tell them. All witchcraft. There's no fear. There's no fear in love. Perfect love. Cast out all fear. Hallelujah. Go back to your seats. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Hallelujah! I need some music now. Come on, musician. That's enough worship. Give me some. Give me some tonage. <laughs> Hallelujah! Come on! Hallelujah! Perfect love cast out all fear. Hallelujah! 
at somebody and say, I won't be afraid of the terror. Look at somebody and say, I won't be afraid of the noisome pestilence, of the noisome COVID. I won't be afraid. Hallelujah. 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 Ooh, I feel the anointing. Hallelujah. 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 I won't be afraid. I won't be afraid. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, look at somebody and say, I won't be afraid. The way I'm praising him right now is the way I'm going to keep praising him. The devil won't take my praise. He won't take my testimony because I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated if you can. Huh? Hallelujah. homosexuality 
it ain't nothing but witchcraft so you pray on their behalf if they in your family you call that junk out it's witchcraft it's a stronghold but God said the weapons of our warfare are mighty unto God for the pulling down of strongholds hallelujah call your daughter back call your son back the one that was created a man the one that was created a woman don't you let no miserable witch make you miserable hallelujah all right everybody sit down hallelujah i feel the presence of god hallelujah 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 well we're gonna praise the lord hallelujah 